I'm telling you, this is the perfect place to write the book. If you want it to be authentic, you gotta be on the spot. Yeah, but it does have to be exactly the same house where it happened. Well, I'm only gonna be here for three months. And then you will have your best horror novel ever. Fucking horror. Alright, I'm getting in. Alright, how does it look? Nice. Just be careful, okay? And call yeah. Hello? Hello? Do you hear me? Hello? Your voice is I cannot hear you. Huh. No connection. Great. Screw it. Wow, I can't believe it's midnight.
Hi, how's it going? Good, just working. You got my email, I sent you some drafts. Yeah, that's the reason I'm calling. All right. You're not just writing about the crazy event happened a few years ago. You're writing about the house. Did you know the history of the house before you moved in? If I had told you, you wouldn't have let me do it. You're right, I wouldn't. Look at the fucking events took place in there. 2015, a crazy man burned his wife and kids alive and hanged himself in the house. 1974, a widow mother and her son who lived there found drowned in the lake in front. Technically, that's not in the house. Not funny. 1926, the first owner of the house and the priest of the local church goes crazy and kills his two daughters for thinking they are witches doing satanistic rituals and shoot himself to death. No one lived there fucking survived. Ever. Think about the story, the book. This could be huge. Don't be superstitious like these local idiots. It's not superstition when numbers tell you there's something wrong. I'm coming there this weekend. Look, I feel good about this book. I think I'm onto something really big here. Sorry, I have to take this. I'll call you later. Bye. All right, bye.